As autumn fades and the last leaves drift to the ground, a new season is quietly preparing to take center stage. The air grows colder, and anticipation builds for what lies ahead. The winter of 2025 to 2026 is shaping up to be anything but ordinary. Early indicators suggest that this season will be marked by extremes, with weather patterns unlike anything we've seen in recent years. Expect dramatic regional differences. Some areas will be buried in relentless snow and bone-chilling cold, while others may experience stretches of unusual warmth and persistent dryness. The contrast will be striking, with winter feeling very different depending on where you live. The jet stream will be highly active, weaving across the continent and steering powerful storms and surges of Arctic air into new territories. This shifting river of air will play a major role in shaping the season's wild swings. For meteorologists, this variability means forecasting is both challenging and absolutely essential. Staying ahead of the changes will be key for communities and travelers alike. The Midwest and Great Lakes could face multiple high-impact snowstorms, with blizzards and whiteouts disrupting daily life, while the South contends with a different set of challenges, ranging from severe storms to unseasonably mild days. It's a tale of two winters unfolding at once, demanding awareness, flexibility, and preparation from everyone. Whether you're digging out from snowdrifts or adapting to dry, windy conditions, readiness will be crucial. This is not a forecast for a quiet season. Expect surprises, significant weather events and moments that will test our resilience. From sudden ice storms to unexpected thaws the season promises to keep us guessing. From snow-laden plains battered by wind to storm-threatened valleys facing floods, this winter will leave a lasting impression and be talked about for years to come. Let's break down the powerful forces driving this unpredictable forecast and explore what you can expect, month by month, as the season unfolds. Get ready for a season that will keep everyone on their toes, as winter 2025 to 2026 promises to be one for the record books. To truly understand this winter's wild forecast, we need to look beyond the snowflakes and cold winds. The story of this season starts thousands of miles away, deep in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, where vast forces are quietly shaping the weather we'll experience in the months ahead. The Pacific Ocean acts as a giant engine, driving weather patterns across the globe and especially here in North America. Two major players are at work, the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, known as the PDO. These climate cycles interact in complex ways, influencing everything from temperature swings to the path of winter storms. This year, we'll start the season in a weak La Nina phase, which means cooler than average waters in the Central Pacific. But by midwinter, those conditions are expected to shift to neutral, setting the stage for unpredictable and rapidly changing weather patterns across the continent. Meanwhile, the PDO is locked in a record negative phase, with colder than normal Pacific waters reinforcing the effects of La Nina and adding extra energy to the atmosphere. This combination strengthens the jet stream, sending powerful currents of moisture and energy into the Pacific Northwest, fueling heavy rain and mountain snow. These forces merge to create a powerful polar jet stream, a high-altitude river of wind that can steer storms and cold air masses with incredible speed. As a result, Arctic air is likely to plunge southward, bringing frigid temperatures and increased snowfall to the northwest and beyond. Where these jet streams collide, most likely over the nation's midsection, is where we can expect the most intense and disruptive winter storms to develop. As ENSO transitions to a neutral phase, the atmosphere becomes even more unpredictable, with shifting ocean temperatures driving rapid changes in weather fronts. This means the north-central U.S. should brace for harsh cold outbreaks, with bitter winds and deep snow likely to make a return. Meanwhile, the east coast will see an active storm track, with nor'easters and coastal storms threatening to bring heavy snow, rain, and wind. Early winter will be shaped by La Nina's influence, favoring colder and snowier conditions in the west and north. But as winter progresses, a new, more active pattern will emerge, bringing fresh challenges and surprises as the season unfolds. This evolving setup is why meteorologists are calling for a season full of surprises, one where no two months may look the same. February could look nothing like December, so stay alert and be prepared for whatever this remarkable winter has in store. To grasp what's possible, look back at the winter of 2013 to 2014, a similar atmospheric setup. That season brought relentless cold and record snow to the Midwest and Great Lakes. 
Chicago saw its third coldest and third snowiest winter ever, with the infamous polar vortex locking in Arctic air. Transitional winters like this can be the most severe, with repeated snowstorms fueled by gulf moisture and plunging cold. The comparison isn't a guarantee, but it's a warning. The upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and Northeast should prepare for a colder, snowier winter than average. Long cold spells and multiple major snow events are real risks. Studying that winter helps us prepare for what could be a truly historic season ahead. As December 2025 arrives, the nation will witness a dramatic weather divide, setting the stage for a winter to remember. A sharp north-south temperature split will dominate the month, creating a tale of two climates across the United States. In the northern plains, Midwest, Great Lakes and Northeast, cold air will settle in early and hold its grip, bringing frequent snowfalls, icy mornings and a persistent winter chill. Meanwhile, the south will experience a stark contrast, with unseasonably warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine, making it feel more like early autumn than the start of winter. Out west, the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies will be drenched by a steady parade of storms. Expect heavy mountain snow piling up in the high country, while valleys and cities see frequent soaking rains that keep the landscape lush and green. The main storm track will favor Colorado lows, which are notorious for spinning up powerful winter storms. These systems will sweep across the heartland, delivering significant snow to the Midwest and Ohio Valley, and occasionally unleashing blizzard conditions that disrupt travel and daily life. In stark contrast, the southern tier of the country will remain dry. Drought conditions will worsen in the southwest and southeast, with parched earth, empty riverbeds and stressed crops becoming a common sight as rainfall stays scarce. At least one major snowstorm is likely to hit the northern states, bringing heavy accumulations and challenging commutes, while the south continues to bask in warmth and sees little to no rain. This classic La Nina-like pattern will define December, creating sharp contrasts between regions and setting up a dynamic, ever-changing weather story. The corridor from the Central Plains to the Great Lakes will be the hotspot for impactful winter storms, with communities bracing for heavy snow, strong winds, and the challenges of winter weather. December is just the opening act, a preview of the intense and dramatic winter that lies ahead. The atmosphere is primed for even bigger events as the season unfolds. With the groundwork laid, the nation stands on the brink of a long, eventful, and unforgettable winter season. The story is only beginning. January 2026 will intensify winter's grip, with deepening cold across the north-central U.S. As the atmosphere shifts toward neutral and so, even colder Arctic air could plunge south. The Pacific Northwest stays wet, but the big story is the Texas Hook storm track. Powerful lows bringing blizzards to the Midwest and Great Lakes. Expect above-normal snow and the potential for major storms and blizzard conditions in cities like Chicago and Indianapolis. The south and east coast will be drier than normal with storms pulling moisture north. Snow will linger, building a deep snowpack and reinforcing the cold. January is the heart of winter for the Midwest. Be ready for serious threats. This is when winter shows its true force. February 2026 will be the most volatile month, with the polar vortex anchoring near the US-Canada border. Expect waves of Arctic air surging south, especially into the Central Plains and Ohio Valley. The southwest will get even warmer and drier, creating a dramatic temperature gradient. The jet stream shifts, energizing storms over the southern and eastern U.S. heavy precipitation will target the Ozarks, Ohio, and Tennessee Valleys and Great Lakes. Blockbuster snowstorms, blizzards, ice storms, and even severe weather are all possible. The main storm track will favor major East Coast snowstorms. Just a small shift can mean snow or rain for big cities. The Midwest, Northeast, and New England are at high risk for major winter events. The Southeast faces a real threat of winter severe weather outbreaks. February will be chaotic, a dramatic end to winter. The forecast pinpoints the highest risk for heavy snow across the Central Plains Midwest and Great Lakes. Cities like Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, and Detroit are in the bullseye for multiple major storms. Expect a series of snow events, not just one, with totals rivaling the epic 2013 to 2014 winter. The Cascades, Rockies, and Sierra Nevada will see heavy mountain snow but California's overall storm frequency will be lower. Drier conditions in California could impact water resources heading into spring. 
The interior northeast and New England face rising snow risks in February, especially with nor'easters. Cities like Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Albany, and Boston should be on high alert for travel-stopping storms. The setup is primed for widespread disruptive snow across the northern U.S. While the north braces for snow and cold, the south faces a different threat. Severe weather. Powerful winter storms will draw warm, humid air north fueling dangerous thunderstorms and tornadoes, especially in Dixie Alley and the Tennessee Valley. Winter severe weather can strike at night and move fast so stay alert for warnings. Meanwhile, the southwestern parts of Texas will be warmer and much drier than average worsening drought. This is the region's wet season so a dry winter could mean water shortages and higher wildfire risk. The nation will experience a tale of two winters excess in the north scarcity in the south. High pressure in the southwest will reinforce drought while steering storms into the heartland. It's a vivid reminder of how interconnected our weather patterns are. In summary, winter 2025 to 2026 will bring high impact weather and sharp regional contrasts. The north central U.S. faces a cold, snowy season with multiple major storms, while the northeast risks heavy snow and ice, especially later on. The southwest will be warm and dry, worsening drought, and the southeast faces a heightened risk of severe weather. The Pacific Northwest will be wet early, then quieter. Now is the time to prepare, stock emergency kits, ready snow equipment, and review severe weather plans. Water conservation will be crucial in the Southwest. Stay informed and ready for anything. A small shift in the storm track can change everything. Pay close attention to local forecasts as the season unfolds. Preparation and awareness are your best defenses for what promises to be a wild and memorable winter.